are live. Hello guys. Well, welcome to a very, very special video. And today, it's a new VR build. Let me take this off. Let's take this off. Don't need it off. I was doing an audio check beforehand. So, today is special. As you can see, these two nice GTX 1070s in the background. Ooh, ooh bow down. <laughs> they cost an unbelievable amount, stupid amounts, really. You know, I wouldn't wreck. I wouldn't wreck. Probably uh, the new the new RX 480. Probably better choice. Nah, I don't know. These are probably about 20, 30 percent faster. But I don't know. I might keep one. Might sell another. But again, I bought two because we'll be doing a comparison video, which will be coming up soon. Which will be: Is there any difference between the armor edition and the gaming edition? There will be. They've before and the 980 Ti which I think was the last armor one they were basically the same but with a different shroud now it does look like this one they've shrunk the heatsink on this quite a lot so um, we'll have to see that and I wasn't going to say as well this is tiny it's like half the size of the GTX 1080 box um, so I hope they haven't done what EVGA have done which use plastic in it to try and protect it because that's horrible and it doesn't protect the card at all. So anyway, back onto the build. This is a very special build. Because it's VR, it's meant to be, it's good. I got, as I'm kind of given away what's going to be happening in the next few weeks. Um, I've got the HD Vive now, it just came today, but I won't be messing around with it until I've got a space to use it. So, uh, looking forward to that. So anyway, let's start off with the memory. Now, I've already got hard drives, like three terabyte hard drives laying around everywhere. But nothing, let me go cover that up. It's like a warranty thing. Nothing comes close to this. I have an M2, I have the first M.2 commercial drive in my system there, my old system, um, which was like 900 up and down, um, read and write, I should say. But this, wrecks it almost two and a half gig uh, read and one and a half gig write and you can overclock it as well <laughs> using a special utility which I couldn't use on that one it only works on this series um, and it's like amazing 520 gig I would think I got yes I did 520 gig not, not 500, 512 I should say 512 gig this is going to be really impressive and we're going to be doing some benchmarks with it in an OS because it's going to be running the OS so that's one the RAM I got I only got 32 gig you're never going to need more than 32 gig let's have a quick show of it it's the uh, Corsair Vengeance you know the best it's low profile RAM which it's brilliant because I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using next um, it's 3200 megahertz um, now some of the older generation X99 can't do that and some of the motherboards, most of the motherboards can't do it either. But this is where this comes into it. The brand new uh, Gigabyte X99 Ultra Gaming. Ooh, with LUGB, or <laughs> was it RBG? How's it? R. No, how do you say it? RGB. That's it. RBG. I couldn't give a shit. I, that's not why I bought this. This G1's always the immensely well performed motherboards I've ever had. I've, I've always got them and they're amazing. Let's have a look. I haven't even opened this yet so I don't... Uh, you can't really see. It's pushing the... It's not so much the film here. This is like proper clear through plastic but the anti-static anti -static, um, layers blocking it with. Oh. Yeah. Well, we'll have a look at that in another video. Uh, you know, it's uh, magicness <laughs> it glows up whatever you can pick the colors I might put it to orange and have the theme orange that is kind of my um, plan for the whole thing so this is the most interesting part of this build which a lot of people will disagree with me doing so they've wrapped it like overly much <laughs> see about that much wrap uh, let's have a look let's have a look at this and I can't even open it because there's so much crap. Uh, 
This is a very controversial choice of a CPU. It's on the X99 platform, but it's not one that I think anyone would get for gaming. <laughs> but they should. And I'll tell you why now. Once I get it open. What's bubble wrap? <laughs> And here it is, the Exxon Xeon E5 family. Whoop whoop. So I'll give you the exact number for it. It is the E52630 version 4 with a um, base clock of 2.2 gigahertz, 25 megabytes of cache, uh, 25 watt TDP. Re super low. Like you will not. This is like less than a 470 90k. <laughs> in the heat temperatures wise um, has 40 lanes of PCIe capability so uh, throw in throw in my M.2 drive in and having two cards in and another sound card in and a few other things so I could have a SSD drive be fine uh, so yeah it boosts up to 3.6 and it's, I'm going to basically, well, I can change a few settings, and basically it'll run at 3.6. Now, the amazing thing about this beast that you don't know, it's a 10 core. So, yep, it is going to be exceptional at everything. If I can get this, I, I easily will be able to get this just constantly at 3.6. I can just leave it, just turn off a few settings in the BIOS and it'll be at 3.6 constantly. And um, yeah, it may run at about, let's say, 85, what does it say on the thing? It says 85 on there. Let's say 90, 95 maybe. Ah. <laughs> we'll have that there. So, we've gone a, I've gone a little bit overkill on this. For cooling this, let's get rid of this weapon. Getting cooling this monster. I've got the best cooler and the best branded cooler as well. These are the best. There's no one that comes near them. You should know what it is already. It's a, a Noctua NHD15. Bom, bom, bom. It's actually bigger than the, the <laughs> if you can see the motherboard. It's, it's bigger. It's width, the width of it's like twice the width. And that's how you know this is such a great quality brand. Not just because it's packaging and stuff, but it's it's got content in it. The heat sink on the on the NHD15 is huge. It, you know, less than a hundred watts. You know, dissipation on heat. So really, it's over. I could have gone with the mini one I have in the other case. Um, but again, I wanted it. I just want to keep it cool. The CPU cool. So it's always good. It's staying at 3.6 clock. Um, so yeah. That is the build. That is the VR build. Um, you know, nothing's going to beat this. Um, the reason I went with the Xeon over um, the 10 core, um, was it i7 6800K? I think that's what it is. 85, I don't know. No, no 89. I've lost count of all the bullshit. Um, so, yeah. Um, Xeon, 10 core. 500 pound yeah 500 pound instead of a thousand pound well 1200 for the non Xeon one which yes it has a higher clock but it has less uh, megabyte cache which is it does make a big difference and um, yeah now you're probably saying to me why didn't I get um, why didn't I get ECC memory I don't really care about ECC memory and I'd rather have the 3200 megahertz RAM, you know, with the speed, and you would have to have a crappy motherboard as well to have ECC support because there's no good x99 um, boards at the moment. I don't think there is anyway. I've gone through a few of them. So, yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and I will make an unboxing video and a review of each and every single one of these. So, they'll be coming out now in the next few days, and um, then we'll get to the VR, which is going to be exciting. So thanks for watching guys, uh, see you soon.